Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we are going to be doing part 6 of season 11 for The Big Bang Theory. It gets heavier every single time. Um, let me know. I'm going to probably ask people on Patreon first because they're going to see this video first. Um, some of you brought it to my attention that it might be better if I watch the first season of Young Sheldon after season 11 before watching season 12 because I guess it has some sort of continuity to it or it explains what's gonna what's gonna happen in season 12 or something like that so let me know down in the comment section I'll probably already make a decision by the time you guys see this but um let me know down in the comment section if you think that's a good idea because I'm game for whichever way you guys think it's best um I know young Sheldon came out before season 12 so therefore it might be better to do that i just didn't think there was going to be anything to do with it you know what i mean like i didn't think there was going to be any correlation between the two for a while um but i hope you guys enjoy this reaction if you'd like to watch my full length reaction to the big bang theory on my patreon go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video okay thank you guys so much for joining me and us i'm gonna sit back relax and watch a tv show together let's continue the big bang theory Water break? No. Then how do you know? Any contractions? No. <laughs> where, where, where are you going? This baby's a boy. They don't take as long to get ready. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I'm making the situation better with humor. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> Would you rather me make it better with magic? Oh, it's okay. You'll have a baby soon. Don't worry. You know, I hear that sex can induce labor. Anything for my family. <laughs> I believe today is Bernadette's due date. Yeah, how do you know that? Easy, 40 weeks from the date of her last period. Why do you know that? And why do you know that? Well, excuse me for taking an interest in people. Why are you smiling? I had sex twice last night. <laughs> That's not fair. She's on bed rest. She can't run away. <laughs> Her idea. She read that it can start labor. Hmm, is that true? It could. Well, I would have Googled it, but I was busy taking my pants off. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. hey, I was just talking about you. Oh, should I ask? You should not. I wouldn't. I'm trying to get our grant proposal together. Any chance you've finished up those mechanical drawings? Oh, sorry, I was going to do it last night, but I got kind of busy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> What are they talking about? Watch La La Land? Yeah, why? No, no, I've not watched La La Land four times. I haven't even so seen it, so if you have, that's, that's, that's a iTunes little... Accounts are linked. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I might have a little more time before the baby gets here, so why don't we just stay late and get it done? Let myself in. Which is normal. How'd she get down the stairs? What are you why doing? Why is she doing? I thought you were supposed to be on bed rest. That's done, but I've been on stair rest for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You really want to help put on a rubber glove, reach on up there and start pulling. Holy. You know, when my yoga instructor was pregnant, she told me there were tons of poses that put her right into labor. I'll try, but I feel like bendy poses are what got me into this mess. I... I'm oh back god. up. Yeah, she's not getting back up. She's not getting back up. I'm back up. Yeah, hearing you is not the problem. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, there's an acupressure point right above your ankle that can. I'm gonna use that picture as the thumbnail. I swear. My mother believes that if you're not prepared mentally, it can delay your body from going into labor. Yeah, I'm sure your you mom believes all that. My fault? Yes. Raj, it's crazy. Your ankles aren't that gross. <laughs> I'm disgusted when people sneeze, and that's just stuff coming out of their nose. <laughs> no, I am here to sit with you and keep you company. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, by playing the most complicated go. board game ever invented, Campaign for North Africa. Why? I didn't have time to figure out the three input hydraulic manifold, so this diagram is really just the flux capacitor from Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch those movies. I'm sorry, this is on They're, they're going to be notice. so good. Hey, I just wish I could be there when you present it. No, it's not. <laughs> My son doesn't have a name yet. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Bernadette okay, picked well, a name and didn't even son. tell you? I can't believe her. She knows I don't want to name the baby after her dad. What did you want to name him? I don't know. We were going to wait until we saw what he looked like. Okay, first, we need to roll to determine the weather. It's a desert. Isn't it going to be hot? <laughs> There's multiple different forms of hot. <laughs> They're going to be hot with sand, hot with air, wind. Oh, wait, we're in Africa. I don't know. Michael? Really? You think we're naming him Michael? Not now, Howard. I'm in the middle of a game. <laughs> You wish. No, you, you gotta have this conversation. In the middle. You gotta have this conversation, girl. This is as fast as I move. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just gonna name him Michael? <laughs> Were you even gonna tell me? I told you. When? All right, that was Amy. I didn't want to say this, but he's dying. What? He is? Eventually. I mean, you see the way the man... Girl! I'm... Okay, is this the hormones, or have you always been a lunatic? That made me mad. I'm not gonna lie. That made me a little mad. You. Thank you. And I carried it. Had to stay in bed for four months, sacrifice my body and my job, and soon it's gonna burst its way out of me like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. 50-50. She and I are playing campaign for North Africa. She doesn't want to play that. Neither did the Egyptians, but that didn't stop Rommel. Wow. <laughs> hey, I brought Chinese. And I brought Indian. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> Sheldon texted and said Bernadette wanted us all to come over. I don't, I don't think she did. If it's not Michael, then what do you want to name him? Harry? Like Potter or Houdini? <laughs> Harry Wallowitz, I can see it. Old boyfriend named Harry? Hey Bernadette, it's your turn. If Penny's Air Force is strafing your supply line in Tobruk. We're kind of busy. Oh, okay. We, but you're being pretty rude. Everyone did come over to play this game with you. <laughs> you know, I always thought Christian was a nice name. What about Jasper? Know. Sounds a little too... Oh, who said war was hell? <laughs> Yeah, that's a rhetorical question. Sherman Everybody. Said it. Yeah, I was going to say, there was but a person. Sherman, like Sherman Wallowitz. Yeah, that's a kid who's going to take his mother to prom. <laughs> hey, Howard, you did that, right? <laughs> I didn't take her. She chaperoned. <laughs> we it's almost the once. same thing. Yeah, that's like the same thing. Okay. I surrender. <laughs> Nice try, Penny. It takes more than everybody not enjoying it to stop a game with Sheldon Cooper. You could burn it. Sheldon, we're talking about something important here. <sighs> Fine. If you pick a baby name, can we get back to playing? Sure. All right, here we go. Rana Tanata. What the hell? <gasps> what about Ozymandias? Ozymandias? Are you up or having a stroke? No, they're... Ozymandias is from a poem by Percy Bysshe Shelley. Oh, oh! <laughs> Bish wallow it solved. Back to the game. <laughs> you imagine they're walking with the stroller. They say, what's this guy's name? They go, his name is Bish. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, I think there was a contraction. What? Is it time? Do we need to go to the hospital? Yeah, we've been through this before. My water hasn't even broken yet. Well, never mind your water. Has your mucus plug popped out? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. oh, you're right. We probably would have heard that. Yep, it's fine. Should we take two cars? Uh, actually, could you stay here and watch Hallie? That way we don't have to wait for Bernadette's parents. Yeah, you guys go. We'll take care of her. You have nothing to worry about. You know, well, not nothing. There are you both approaching the Suez Canal. Boy, focus. We are not playing the game right now. Go, go. Save yourselves. <laughs> hey, I'm really excited to meet our son. Me too. I thought I'd be super freaked out. But I'm ready for this. Well, not the part where you're in labor and you squeeze my fingers till they turn blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. That must be really painful for you. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I'm good. Sorry I tried to sneak the name past you. That's okay. I'm sorry I used up so many good names in college. What does that mean? I was really oh. with my roommate. The sleeping around. Okay, got it. I was like, what's the joke? About it. This kid is part you and part me. Yeah, it's 
going to be smart and kind and funny. If he cracks five foot six, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked the name Elliot. Sorry, can't have it. That's my boy name. I said it first. It's not like calling dibs. When did you pick out our kids' names? Remember that day you moved into the building? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, Th that was the day. A non-creepy amount of time after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the name Elliot. That wasn't on my list, but I like it. But we've heard your names, they're ridiculous. Really? You thought about our kids? Of course. I think you and I will have exceptional children. Oh. Maybe. Well, I think so too. How many kids you guys want? 15. <laughs> what the hell is what? this, Sib City? Don't worry, I don't expect you to bear them all. I'm sure we can find a suitable uterus to rent. Sheldon. No. Uh -uh. We gotta talk. Guys. Guys, wake up. Terrible news. Oh my god, what, what? is it the baby? No, 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 we miscalculated our unassigned armor class units. We need to start over. <laughs> oh, well, that what? sucks. Yeah, the baby was born about an hour ago. <gasps> Dude, oh. why didn't you call me? Well, the only way I would see my son for the first time and immediately think I need to call Raj is if he came out brown. <laughs> <laughs> it can take some time for pigment to form. You're still not out of the woods. Stop it. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, hey, what'd you name him? Bernie had to get six stitches. <laughs> Neil, that's cute. <laughs> but we're calling him Michael. <sighs> I'm not gonna fight her. That kid's head was the size of a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe how big Hallie's getting. Where's Howard? He's changing Michael. Well, all done. You know, fun fact, did you know baby boys can pee straight up? Yeah. Grown up boys too. Why would we high five that? Wait. Really good. <laughs> I don't want to know. Except for when we went grocery shopping, the checkout lady asked when I was due. But you handled it well. Okay, well, we all miss you. You guys too. Bye. Oh, boy. Seeing them all together like that has got my biological clock ticking like crazy. What the hell are you talking about? I don't think men have. I do. Hi. Hello. Hey. Good news. We have saved the date cards. Oh, uh, didn't go with my calligrapher. Interesting. <laughs> what is this picture? Oh, it's an MRI of our brains photoshopped to look like they're kissing. Oh, it's definitely guys, creative. I'll give it that. That's exciting. I know. Do you guys have a location yet? Because you don't have a lot of time. Hey, it took us nine months to pick a date and a week to decide if brains can have lips on them. So get in the boat and row. <laughs> Is Hallie. Oh my god, he's so cute. Switchy. Switch? Yeah. <laughs> my heart feels like it's gonna explode. Of course, it's full of brisket, so it probably will. Oh, I didn't even know I was capable of loving someone so much. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just messing with you. I totally love them more than you. I get that. I would take a bullet for them. Now, I'm really happy with our wedding date. The month squared equals the square of the sum of the members of the set of prime factors of the day. Isn't that romantic? Sure. Yes, it's like that Shakespeare sonnet, shall I compare thee to a day that's also a really weird math problem. <laughs> it's a shame you're joking. That'd be a lovely reading at our ceremony. Oh, Albert Einstein was a member there. It's beautiful. Yeah, and Albert Einstein was a member there. <laughs> It's close. And Albert Einstein was a member there. <laughs> and Albert Einstein was a member there. <laughs> now nah, you sound like a woman who wants to get married. I suppose we can give it a look, and it, it doesn't work out. I hear that there is a nearby Chinese restaurant that Einstein used to frequent. Oh, my God. Or we pick a place we like and don't worry about Einstein. Well, reality TV is right. Brides are crazy. <laughs> Sheldon. <laughs> thinking maybe it would be better if one of us decided to stay home. I don't know. I was raised by servants, and look at me. Yeah, look at you. I literally can't tell if you think that's good or bad. <laughs> well, on one hand, they filled my tub with scented oils and brought me honeyed sweets. On the other hand, I spent my 20s incapable of talking to women, so, you know. 
Take your Pros pick. And cons. <laughs> she's really invested in her career. And she's doing great. I think it should be me. Wow, I admire you, Howard. It'd be hard for me to buck traditional gender roles like that. Everything Can about you, you bucks Taylor traditional Swift gender twice roles. This month? Yeah. <laughs> see exactly. <laughs> yeah, because she's hot, not because she sings my truth. Is that Leonard? Yeah, oh no, no. These are all dead, accomplished scientists. Leonard will only ever be one of those things. <laughs> I mean, Leonard and Penny are right there. Oh. But he told me he checked on our membership just last week, and we were still four hundredth in line. Oh. Leonard? Oh hey. hey. How did you get in here? What do you mean? Leonard's a member. Uh-oh. You told me it was incredibly exclusive. Yeah, look, about that, I lied. <laughs> At least hey, wait, he's honest. you told me it was exclusive, too. Mm hmm I avoided him and impressed you all with the same lie. <laughs> Koopa! Oh, God, it's Kripke! <laughs> oh, good. You're here. There's <clears throat> something I want to talk to you about. We're not putting a TV in the bathroom. That's how you get hemorrhoids. <laughs> okay. Actually, I was thinking I should stay home. Oh, so I have to abandon my children and go back to work while you get to stay home and bond with them? You just yeah, there's no choice that's going to be right. No, I don't want to have to. But if I want to, I should get to. You should go back to work because you make more money? Don't you think you should make more money? <laughs> I think it's pretty sexist of you to say a dad can't stay home with his children. You know what else is sexist? The phrase suck it. And here we are. I can't believe Leonard lied to me. I can. What are we gonna find out next? That he's not really lactose intolerant? Huh? <laughs> he's just friends with an invisible trumpet player? <laughs> so do we agree? Do we want to get married there? I don't know. I mean, Einstein was a member. I like that. No, but Leonard's a member, and that really steams my clams. <laughs> oh, I love it when you're folksy. I'm just gonna call. Oh, hi, Kathleen. Yeah, this is Amy from earlier. I'd like to go ahead and reserve May 12th. Although it is our wedding. Uh, maybe it shouldn't be all about revenge. <laughs> oh, I see. Thanks. Somebody took the day. Someone booked our date. The, what? Who? Well, well, well. Really, Kripke? <laughs> this is a pickle. <laughs> I don't want to move my potty, but I also don't want to help you. Oh, wait, I don't have a problem. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, where you been? Oh, nowhere special, just the park, the farmer's market. Then we hopped on the gold line to Chinatown because it's important for the kids to experience other cultures. What have you been doing? <laughs> it's 8 a.m. sleeping. Oh, so are the kids. I guess they take after you. Oh, my God. <laughs> we both know you can't keep up this pace. By this afternoon, you're going to be passed out on the couch, and I'm going to have three exhausted babies to deal with. <laughs> Not true. I got this. You know, in fact, why don't you take the day off? Fine. I may have even used the S word. Subpar? <laughs> I'm not proud of it, Amy, but I have a temper. Uh, I suppose we could pick a different date. Well, it took you nine months to choose that one. I'll pick a different husband first. <laughs> why did you lie to me? I don't know. It just seemed funny at first, and then the longer it went on, funnier it got. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's why. <laughs> that didn't that's help. not much of an apology. Literally. Yeah, because he's not really sorry. Obviously, he wanted a place to go where I wouldn't be. And apparently, all of outside wasn't enough for him. Well, look, I only have time to deal with one jerk right now, and that's Barry Kripke. What? He has the Athenaeum booked for our wedding date, and he won't give it up. Yeah, so if you could just please leave before I get angry and say something I will regret about your face, your height, your personal hygiene, or the fact that your science, while serviceable, lacks panache. <laughs> hey, there you are. Yeah, I just wanted to stop in and see my office before we went to lunch. Just a few more weeks, you'll be back full time, huh? Yeah. She's not oh, going to. That wasn't a happy yeah. That was a, hey, Leonard, do you want to go to the gym, yeah? Dr. Rostenkowski, I'm sorry I didn't know you were back. Oh, I'm not. I just came to meet Penny for lunch. Is there anything I can get you? Coffee, water? No, I think we're Coffee just gonna. Coffee sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
brew almond milk. Perfect. Gerald, what's going on? Hope you're not screwing up my research. You calling from a bike ride? Because you're backpedaling hard. All right, fine. Email it over. I'll take a look. You're literally not working. <clears throat> There's nothing in the world like holding your sleeping baby, knowing you make him feel safe, and then, oh, good, you got the little cookies I like. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a cookie, and he's gone. He's not your assistant, Penny. Hey, Kripke. Hey, Whoa, Hofstetter. <laughs> Why do you Why look like a minion? Like, like literally. Grad students? Come on. I can't make my grad students do every dirty job. Why would I do that? <laughs> because deep down, Barry, you're a really good guy. But am I? He's not. He's not. Even I know that. <laughs> Barry, I have come to ask one more. Leonard? W why are you doing that? Because deep down, Barry is not a good guy. <laughs> He's making you clean out barrels of irradiated grease? Yeah, he Todd sawyer yeah. him. <laughs> I made a deal with him to get you the Athenaeum for your wedding. Why would you do that? Besides, you're my best friend. I want you to have the wedding of your dreams. On Mars? <laughs> no. Okay, I want Amy to have the wedding of her dreams. No, well, thank you. But... I don't want you to do this. No, it's okay. No, it's not. We're not going to let Barry win. Well, what are we going to do? If we work together, we can totally outsmart Barry Kripke. Nope. See, Tom Sawyer, both of them. Leonard, my nose itches. What do I do? I really passed out hard. Ah, tell me about it. The kids could have screamed bloody murder and you wouldn't have woken up. Which I know because they did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did I think I could do this on my own? Hey, don't beat yourself up. Parenting is hard. Like, I've seen and smelled things today that I cannot unsee or unsmell. Thanks for covering for me. No, I mean, he only drinks milk. Like, where are the colors coming from? <laughs> this is a good point. Why do babies... Never mind. What time Not even going to ask it. Uh, it's almost six. Okay. Bernadette's gonna be home soon. We gotta divide and conquer. I'll make dinner. You watch the kids. Uh, kids are asleep. Great, then you make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good news, Amy. We got the Athenaeum. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! <laughs> How'd you get Barry to change his mind? Yeah, well, I couldn't have done it without Leonard. Well, you should have seen us in there. We were like Batman and Robin. What happened? Well, we scrubbed out some barrels of irradiated grease, rinsed off in the safety shower, and then told Barry Kripke what is what. <laughs> and he just gave in? Well, we agreed to invite him to the wedding. Okay, no problem. And he gets to bring a date. Well, that's reasonable. Yeah, well, and if she charges by the hour, we have to cover it. What the hell? No. That's what he was saying, but I did I did not get that. <laughs> Guys, I actually I can picture what he's actually did, saying. But we can find another location that's just as good. Maybe the Japanese garden or, or the planetarium. Oh, Ooh, Japanese garden is a good I one. I thought about that. That's even better. Why is Raj asleep on our couch? Oh, I needed some help, so he came by, played with the kids, read them some stories, put them down for their nap, and made dinner. <laughs> So he did everything. Ate dinner. <laughs> hey, look, I don't think I'm cut out to be a stay-at-home dad. And since you want to, you should stay home. When I went by the office, they gave me coffee and cookies and no one peed on me. <laughs> I miss that so much. I love the kids, but I also love my job and sleep. How do you feel now? Honestly? Still tired. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I love you. I love you too. And we'll figure this all out. Yeah. Everyone's asleep. You want to head upstairs and, <laughs> you know. How much time has passed? Cause Let's I... just do it right here. Oh, oh. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> But why do they still call Batman using the bat signal? Wouldn't it just be like easier to text him? The bat signal isn't just to alert Batman, it's also to strike fear in the hearts of his enemies. Right, to let everybody else know in Gotham like that he's not. out there. That's what it's for. <laughs> Comparing me to Batman? I'll take it. 
I believe they do text him. The, the bat signal is linked to his phone via Bluetooth. Has that been in the comics? No, that's just what I believe. <laughs> All right, I'm putting a stop to this. Well, you how? Why'd you wait 11 years? <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Today at work, I found out I am going to meet Bill Gates. <laughs> Sorry, Leonard. You and Penny had a good run. <laughs> Well, his foundation is looking to partner with a pharmaceutical company to help develop affordable vaccines, so they asked me to show him around. It's great. When's he coming? Uh, he gets in on Sunday, and Monday morning, I'm going to give him a tour of the labs and offices. Oh. He gets in on Sunday, April 1st? Nice try, Penny. <laughs> April Fool's Day. What are you talking about? That was a mistake. Messing with me? Yes, it was. <laughs> and this year, I'm not falling for it. Sheldon, I swear. Ryan, he's a... what are you doing? Oh, you're right. He's not coming. April Fools. You know what they say? Fool me n times, where n equals the amount of times you've already fooled me. Shame on you. you know, fool me n plus one times. Shame on me. Okay, I don't know who else says that besides you, but all right. So you're gonna spend a day with Bill Gates? I'm a little jealous. I'm a little nervous. You know, if I do a good job, I'm hoping they'll consider me for a PR position that's opening up. Well, if you're nervous, I, I know a lot about him. I, I can fill you in or maybe come along, whatever. <laughs> what are high-level language interpreters for microcomputers? A way of programming computers using words and commands instead of binary code. Oh, it's actually kind of interesting. Tell me more. Oh, well. That, I'll do that. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming. Yeah, well. Look, I know you want to meet him, but I can't turn this into a social thing, OK? This is my job. I really need it to go well. I get, I get it. I get it. You're right. Actually, I've, I've already met him once before. He gave a talk at Princeton and my mom took me. Oh, really? Was he nice? He was super nice. I, I got pretty emotional and started crying. And, <laughs> he didn't make fun of me or anything. Hi, where are you off to? El Parque. El Parque? Learning Spanish so I could talk to the other nannies. <laughs> How's that going? Bueno. That means good. good. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for coming over. No problem. Can I get you anything? Juice box, nanners? Nanners? <sighs> Sorry, mom brain. I think I forgot how to talk to grown-ups. I meant buh nanners. <laughs> Bananas. You know what? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Bob the Builder. I'll catch you up. That one's Bob. <laughs> He's the Builder. Are we serious right now? <laughs> Isn't this a kid's show? It's what we watch in this house. Bob the Builder, Dinosaur Train, and Peppa Pig, which is both funny and meaningful. She is kind of meaningful. I'll give her that. Well, when I was a kid, that date. show was pretty good. Sure. Hang on. I, I just want to see if Bob can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he can! <laughs> he can fix anything. You're saying that these aren't yours. Those are too big for her. No. <laughs> he has questions. He has many questions. So you're saying that I'm touching a stranger's underpants. <laughs> yes. Yes. It occurred to me that perhaps you were telling the truth about Bill Gates and it wasn't just part of an elaborate prank. What would the prank part even be? I show up to meet Bill Gates over your objections. No, but it's not Bill Gates at all. No, it's, it's one of those lookalikes that you hire for a party. Nobody would dress like Have Bill Gates. Have you been eating laundry detergent? I just need you to tell me the truth. This is driving me crazy. Sheldon, he is really coming. Is he? He is. Really? Yeah. Well, now I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Did I show you the video of the kid sitting? Yes. You texted it to me at 3 a.m. <laughs> Thought someone was either in jail or dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, it, it gave me something to watch while I tried to go back to sleep. I'm in the middle of a book, too. It's three pages long and floats in the bath. That's pretty productive. All right, we can talk about something else. It also quacks when you squeeze it. You should have seen Michael laugh. I think I have a video. Or maybe we can't. <laughs> hey, I think I'm gonna head to the office for a little bit. On a Sunday? Yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm prepared for tomorrow. Do you think you could get Bill Gates to sign something for me? Yeah, maybe. Like what? My arm, my chest, his call. 
What the hell? Benny, remember when I introduced you to 100 calorie Dove bars and you said you owed me like big time? Guys, even if I wanted to introduce you, there is no room in his schedule. I mean, look, look at this itinerary. I meet him at his hotel first thing tomorrow morning, then we're on the go all day long. You're right, guys, this is her job. I totally just saw what hotel he's staying at. <laughs> what are we waiting here for? For Penny to walk down the stairs, get in her car, and drive away. <laughs> right, smart. <clears throat> is that long enough? She's pretty quick, let's go. These guys are gonna go hassle Bill Gates. Oh no. What would you do if you had a billion dollars? Same as Bill Gates. Try to make the world a better place. Solve world but hunger. I do it in a working Iron Man suit. This is a bad idea. Maybe we should go. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't know. I'm just feeling guilty. Like I'm kind of sneaking around behind Penny's back. We're not doing anything wrong. We're just hanging out in the hotel lobby. Plenty of people do that. The businessmen, the high-end prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, that's him. Oh because, God, oh there he is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Cooler. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Gates, I'm, I'm Dr. Leonard Hofstetter. We've actually met before. Sorry, I don't remember. You were so nice, like a hero. Oh, now I remember. Leonard, relax. <laughs> Would you like a tissue? How about a hug? <laughs> How, how about a tissue? <laughs> I mean, besides you cutting up my meat for me, it was a lovely lunch. Good. What's happening? I'm a smart, educated, successful... Woman? I'm just gonna get it. Studies with rats show that new mothers are more sensitive to danger, better at multitasking, and bolder in the pursuit of food. You could stick a couple lamb chops in my purse. <laughs> That's so that's good. what I was smelling. <laughs> yep. Hold the door. Hold the door. Really? <laughs> oh, hi, Leonard. <laughs> Hold the door. Get robbed some more. Who is telling you no these things? Oh. Well, they should, because it's true and it rhymes. <laughs> You're all in on it. Uh, nice try. <laughs> It's not an April Fool's joke, Sheldon. I actually went to a hotel and met him. Right, right. Okay, so uh, Bill Gates was at the hotel that you went to. <laughs> Why is went to in quotes? Fine. So Bill Gates was at the hotel that you went to. <laughs> Were you crying? No. <laughs> <laughs> so... It wasn't a joke, and I actually could have met him? Yes. He's probably still there. What hotel? The La Quinta Inn in Thousand Oaks, under the name Hernandez. Thank you. April Fools. <laughs> That's not the hotel. <laughs> hey. Hey, where you been? Uh, just hanging out with the guys. They still mad at me? Uh, they were, but then I was like, hey. And they were like, what? And I was like, you know, and they were like, Okay. You watch, she's gonna make them, As she's gonna introduce out, them. there's a little reception for Mr. Gates tomorrow night. I asked if I could bring you, and they said yes. Oh, no. What? What did I just say? Yeah, you get to meet Bill Gates again. Wait, what do you mean again? I wonder if he'll remember you. Yeah, I wonder that too. <laughs> What the hell? The fraction of the mass that loses every year is about 10 to the negative 13. Wow. Hop on Pop took a dark turn there at the end. <laughs> Amy made me realize that new mothers are cognitively primed to take in new information, and I've been wasting it making up songs about our baby's toes. <laughs> to be fair, I co-wrote Pinky Toe, Pinky Toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a problem, and I fixed it. But like Bob the Builder in that giraffe cage. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. You get to meet Bill Gates again. Hello, Leonard. Oh, God. Thought I'd find you here. Oh, God, Sheldon. You snake. <laughs> What's going on? He sent me all the way to Thousand Oaks to meet Bill Gates when he knew full well he wasn't staying there. Leonard, that's terrible. Yeah, why would you do that? You know he's staying at the Double Tree in Long Beach. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm going to fall for it again, don't you? 
He's going to. Well, I won't. Where are you going? Shut up. Uh, you sure you can't come? I want to, but I'm just too sick. Uh. <laughs> no, that's just my regular pee on clam. <laughs> I mean, really, the bigger danger isn't the loss of mass. Instead, it'll run out of hydrogen to use for nuclear fuel, swell up into a red giant, and fry the Earth. What are we talking about? So you don't want to split a salad? Just a little something I read while nursing a human being that I made. I'm just going to get the chicken. Ah. She's doing the same. Oh, God, she's FaceTiming him. No. Hello. Okay, I'm just resting. Well, I have a surprise that might make you feel better. Oh, really? God. Yeah, look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know you. You ruined my tie. Wait, what? What's he talking about? Uh, yeah, obviously, he's kidding. You're in <laughs> trouble, <laughs> dude. One, Bill, I gotta go. <laughs> He's in stupid trouble. Stupid Leonard. <laughs> Meeting stupid Bill Gates. Aww. <laughs> I am so sorry, Sheldon. <laughs> Leonard. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> what the hell? Apology accepted. <laughs> What's for dinner? I'm starving. Hola. Hi. Uh, Este hombre otra vez. ¿Qué le pasa? How are you ladies doing? Raise your hands if you're bueno. ¿Quién me dejaría cuidar sus niños? Yeah. La mejor se los robó. Oh my God. Me llamo Stuart Bloom. A lo mejor lo tenemos que dar a la policía. Poor Stuart. All right, so that was part six of season 11 for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say, those three were pretty good. That last one, I think, might have been my favorite, just because we have cameos and everything like that, and it makes it more fun and kind of more inclusive in the in the real world, you know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.